Okay. Hello and welcome back uh, to the uh, next episode of a tutorial series. Uh, this is going to be one of the remade tutorials of my previous original tutorials. Um, as you know, my quality has increased from um, April massively, I would say, and I, I think it's done pretty well. Um, and as such, um, I'm going to I, I'm remaking some of the older tutorials. So it's easier for you guys to be able to understand me, some quality is improved, stuff like that, more uh, corrections and, and things that just will make it much more clearer and better quality content for you guys when you want to look for a tutorial or subject matter. Um, I'll be pumping these videos out, they're going to be less edited than my normal Let's Play series, um, but there, there's going to be a lot of them hopefully and I'm just going to be remaking them over and over again. Uh, but before we get into this today's episode, which will be on admin commands and training fleets, uh, we will be going into uh, a few things. Uh, first thing is, if you guys could please go to the description below and suggest new tutorials that I haven't done. If they're not on there, then I haven't done them. Um, and that will allow me to make more tutorials because I have more ideas, do more things. Um, I've done a lot of tutorials, so it's kind of hard for me to think of things that you guys want to see specifically. Um, keep in mind that if you like want like ship combat, really detailed ship combat stuff, that will take a long time in comparison to non. So do keep that in mind. Uh, the second thing is please remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help out. It's a hard life being a, a war with YouTuber, I know. Uh, it is, seriously though. Um, the algorithm really does not like this game and the community is pretty niche so um to keep me going making content it's really awesome if you guys could you know try and be very supportive from that and you so far you guys have been so keep it up anyway let's go right into the episode so um admin commands what is an admin command so previously in vb6 you had um task groups and you had a fleet organization well this is the naval organization chart but instead of having task groups we have admin commands and then below those admin commands, we have fleets. Fleets are what task groups were, um, and admin commands are kind of like uh, the organization aspect of it. So the, anything green is an admin command. Uh, it also, these are shipping lines, just for keep that in mind. Um, so admin commands basically allow you to provide bonuses in a hierarchy and structure your navy accordingly. So. For example, I can drag and drop this over here and that will form under that. And how it works is, is that the bonuses of the person in charge of this, so you can assign a, uh, an admiral or a high ranking official to your, your top admin command and then you can assign more to each of those. Also assign does not work for this, but it will trickle down bonuses to the fleets that are within the admin command. And so, it allows you to stack bonuses accordingly. If you want to know what kind of bonuses each kind of admin command gives you, you can look over here. So there's different kinds of admin commands, as we can see. General, Naval, Patrol, Survey, Training, and Logistics, and Industrial. They all provide slightly different bonuses. So think of this as 100% fleet training, and then 10%, 10%. So they provide a certain amount of bonus to that. So General does a little bit of everything. Uh, naval does, you know, naval uh, important stuff, it's things like that. And you can create a new admin by just selecting down here, creating one, and then naming it what you want. You can also update an admin's type to whatever you feel like. We're going to get to training in a little bit, but I'm going to just explain to you naval headquarters. So, naval headquarters are is a building that you can create um, on a world, kind of like a military academy, but it affects your admin commands. So, so Certain um, admin command types have a radius, um, and so patrol and survey will have a much larger radius than others. And if they're not within that range or radius, then you're not going to be able to get that bonuses applied from the top admin commands. It doesn't mean you can't control the stuff, but it does mean that your admin commands will not um, will not provide uh, either a full bonus or their or the bonus in general. Uh, I will be leaving in the description below uh the change log for admin commands and all of that stuff so you guys if you want more detail i'm not going to be going too in depth with how all the math works out but if you do want more detail on that it will be in the description below okay so as you can see here we have systems in range so sirius alpha centauri they're in range and then you can increase the when you increase the uh naval headquarters level it, that will increase the range obviously um you then have your populations with head headquarters, as you can see. So I have one in New Solaris, in Alpha Centauri. There you go. 
Now, let's move on to fleet training. Basically, what fleet training allows you to do um, is it allows you to train up your forces. In VB6, you would have to select your fleet and then hit the training button. But in C sharp, you need to move a fleet, so like one of these, into that command that's a training, and that will automatically begin training them. Um, and this also works for general, but it does at a much reduced rate. So if you just want a very small amount of training, then that it will provide that to your navy over time. Um, so next is going to be what does training actually do for you? So training, the, the negatives of training is that um, it will increase your maintenance clock, I think, by four times over. So it, 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 you know, you're training through things, you're doing all these actions, stuff like that. Uh, which is going to mean that you are going to have a harder time, you know, you're, you're testing the system, basically. So, stuff's going to fail more frequently, you're in active combat or training combat, stuff like that. Um, and it will also, your deployment time will increase tenfold as well. So, you can't train for extended periods of time, usually. Usually, you'll only train for a few months, uh, here or there, stuff like that. Um, and you generally don't want to train your entire fleet at once. Um, probably segments and, and, and stuff like that as well. But what does it actually provide that's useful? Well, if we come out to this fleet here, we have grade and training. It's minus 7% because they haven't been trained at all and they're a, um, it's a commercial ship. Um, so it doesn't have a uh, grade or training. So it doesn't, doesn't thingy. But if we go over to an exploration ship like this, as we can see here, it's in general. So it has gone a bit of training here. Um, so, grade and training directly affect how your combat, how, how you take movement, your initiative, that kind of thing. So, in a war, you do actually have an initiative, um, but it's, it's, it's not really how you think of it in like in a D&D &D session. Um, it's more on how actions are taken. If both actions are taken at the same time, then you'll be able to do things. Um, and like, if, if one ship, if how a ship fires and what order it fires, that kind of stuff. So, um... The training and the grade, the training's a lot more important than the grade, in my opinion. The grade basically allows you to, um, like, it, it basically makes sure that your, 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 your boys, like, it's your experience, essentially. So, it's, it's like, how much have they been doing the job for, you know, it, it affects that kind of thing. So, think of training as, like, you want to train up just to get them at the base level, right? You want to make sure they're trained and ready to go, so you won't have any, like, you know, taking time to prepare all this. If you have low training, you're going to have issues where, like, your ships will be like, we're taking, you know, we're having some issues getting the, the orders, right? We're, we're going to take some time to um, fire the weapons. Um, grade is more about just active combat, and you, as your grade goes up, you'll be more proficient in shooting and all of that stuff. But training can have negatives if you have not enough training for your ships. So that is the general idea with training your fleet. So again, you just drag and drop right in there and it, it works completely fine. Um, most things in C-sharp are just drag and drop. Um, so do keep that in mind in comparison to uh, VB6. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, now, the other, uh, this is, I've already gone over the naval organization. So if you want to check out my naval organization uh, tutorial video, where I just go over each screen and what everything does, then you can do that. But that is generally what admin commands do. Now, to clear up a few other things, um, what does this all exactly mean? So crew training is gonna be is gonna be the individual training of the crew. So that's gonna be the grade. So when we're talking about grade, we're talking about basically the crew's training. Um, and then when we're talking about fleet training, we're talking about the you know specific training with the ships and, and what you know what that fleet is is prepared to do, right? So um this will provide a certain amount of crew training. This will provide a certain amount of fleet training. Then we have um, reaction training, so, or not reaction training, but reactions, uh, tactical engineering survey. So each one of these will provide a certain bonus to each action. So you want to put your exploration vessels in survey command groups, and you want to assign specifically officers that are good at surveying, okay? Because if you're able to do that, then you're going to have much quicker surveying speeds. Um, logistics and industrial um, are to deal with stuff like mining. So industrial stuff like mining and uh, harvesting fuel um, and, and stuff like that. While logistics is going to be uh, unloading stuff. It's going to be um, transporting things, you know, stuff like that. 
uh, engineering is for repairs and it's for um you know not how much msp you use, stuff like that tactical um is going to be for you know shooting things and, and hit chances and stuff like that reactions is going to be for you know reacting to incoming fire stuff like that um and each thing will have obviously its radius mod so there you go now it can stack pretty much indefinitely but the, the problem is is as you go up and you stack more and more uh commands on top of each other uh what's going to happen is that it's going to have massive diminishing returns so you probably only want three and four layers at most for your naval commands the most important thing is just getting the right people assigned to your to to your commands and, and get them in their in their naval stuff and, and all that so there we go, uh, that is pretty much Animan Commands, uh, what they do, what they are, um, as well as also uh, generally, um, you know, Navy and, and, and how training your your stuff works. In the, in the description below, I will be linking all those tables of contents and all that stuff, uh, so you guys can read through if you want to look at all the maths and stuff. Uh, and even correct me, because I'm probably wrong about you, I've got some misconceptions most likely, but that's just the general idea and how I see it. And how you should probably see it as well. Um, I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. More tutorials on the way. Bye bye.